Hey, hon. What? Why do we tell actors to break a leg? I don't know. Because every play has a cast. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, hon. Huh? Did you hear about that new restaurant called Karma? No. There's no menu. You get what you deserve. Sacks when they go golfing. Hmm. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. You know what I have here? Yep, that's right. I won the competition, but I am really upset that I did not win by a landslide because I've been doing this for quite a while. He did two projects and he almost literally tied me. So yeah, I wasn't too, too thrilled with myself that I, I barely, I barely won, but I won. So that's okay. And if you didn't see that competition to win this resin curing machine, this is the base of it and I will be using it today. And if you didn't see that competition or him presenting me with the winner with my prize, I will link those below for you. So today I'm going to do coasters. And if you saw one of my last hauls from Hobby Lobby, I was there Hang on. and I picked up some scrapbook paper. And these are the two, these are two large ones. I have a bunch of small ones as well. So what I'm going to do is incorporate this into these coaster molds. So what I did is I took one of my blanks. This is a coaster, obviously, and it came from this mold. So I took this and I traced around the paper to get these circles. I mean, you could do any shape you want. Uh, I do recommend having a blank to trace because I don't know how you would trace the inside of a mold that you haven't used yet. So I used one that I've already used and I cut out my four pieces to make a set of four coasters. So these are the first ones I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do is mix up four, like one ounce each. And I think I'm gonna mix it in copper. So the back will be copper since there's copper in these pieces of paper. And then the top I will cover with clear. But before I do that, I wanna seal these pieces of paper, even though they are pretty thick. I think I'm going to seal them with some Mod Podge front and back because Mod Podge will um, dry clear and it will just kind of seal this paper so we don't get any wet spots. So I'm going to seal the paper before I mix up my four ounces of resin. So I have my Mod Podge here, but I do keep it in this little squeeze jar, like a ketchup jar, just because it's much easier. I usually use it mostly Mod Podge for my tumblers. So I haven't done a tumbler in a while. I'm going to have to do a tumbler soon. I'm just going to squeeze some on here and it does dry fairly quickly. And I'm just going to paint this on. And I'm thinking one coat is enough. One even coat. Just to seal it in a little bit. And then once the top is dry, I will go ahead and do the back side as well. I have never done paper in a coaster before. So I, this is all an experiment process. I see that this is curling, but I don't think it's gonna matter because I'm going to end up gluing it down into, into the, the mold anyway with Mod Podge. I definitely don't want them to stick together though. So somehow finagle it or don't use as much glue as I just did. That was enough for two of them. Finagle it to lay as flat as you can. But like I said, I'm going to glue it into there. We're going to learn together if that seems to be the right way or not. I also bought napkins to try. Cute little napkin designs. So if you see some cute napkins that you're like, oh, I want that in a coaster. 
I'm pretty sure we'll be able to duplicate this process with napkins or any kind of paper. Wrapping, I bought some wrapping paper to try as well. But I do have my ceiling fan on in here. So I'm pretty sure these are going to dry pretty quickly. I just don't want them sticking to my parchment paper when they are dry. So I'm just going to loosen them up a little bit and I'll come back when we do the back. I'm just going to speed this process up with my heat gun just because I am anxious to use my resin curing machine. I don't want to wait too long. I flipped my parchment paper over just because the glue was still wet on it and I didn't want the front sticking to them. So I'm just going to repeat this process. I measured these coasters with water and each one holds three ounces of resin. So I just mixed up about five ounces here. And while I'm mixing this, here's the copper that I'm going to use. I will link everything in the description below that I'm using. Let me move this out of the way. And um, while I'm doing this, isn't this the cutest little spoon I got from Timu? I love it. While I'm doing this, I just wanted to remind you, in the description are tons of things. And one of them is a link to my new Facebook group that I've made for all the Glitz and Glitter fans. Because I absolutely love seeing all your projects. And I cannot do that through YouTube. So go in my description and send the request to join our group. It is growing every day. So we are going to get to see all kinds of ideas and give some people advice if they're asking advice or things like that. So yeah, everything um, that pertains to any of my videos, even if it's something that's similar to what I'm doing today, I link down there so you can kind of see other things that are similar to this one, if there are any. Not all the time. There are not all the time similar videos. But um, yeah, check the description. There's all kinds of things in there. This is the copper that I used in my countertops, which is also linked in the description. If you want to see my poured resin countertops in this resin room that I have, this is the copper that I use. That's why this is like almost empty. Because I used, I think, five gallons of resin to do these countertops. Five or six gallons, I don't remember. But that looks pretty good. It's nice and opaque and shiny. I'm just going to get these poured as evenly as possible. And yeah, these discs are nice and nice and dry. It only took, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe. So I'm just going to get this poured and let it cure. I will time it to see how long it takes to cure these. In this little, it, this machine is from Let's Resin. So let's see how long it takes to get these things cured. I know it automatically goes off in three hours. But I don't think it would take three hours to cure this really thin layer of resin. I'm just doing them just less than half full. That way we can put that paper in and uh, give it a little bit of depth. And the only reason I'm doing copper is because you're gonna see the backs. And I can see that this may be uneven. I didn't think about that. I might have to prop one of these up. There is a little lip over here. I did cut this silicone pad. That's why it's dirty already. Uh, piece of silicone that I had just so I don't mess up the bottom already even though I'm sure it will get messed up. I'm just going to use all this and then we will get this in the machine.
pop any bubbles that you might see. I've got this cute little torch to do these little molds so I don't completely tear up my molds with that bigger torch that I have. So this does work. Although you're not going to see any of these bubbles. So if you don't want to take the chance, I completely understand. Or I spray it with alcohol as well, 99% alcohol. I've never had a problem spraying either mica or anything. Just don't torch it after that because it will light on fire. So I'm thinking I'm going to prop two of these up with a little piece of paper. But I'll do that off camera. So I'll see you when these are cured. It's been, I forgot to time it. It's been like an hour, hour and a half. And these are nice and cured. It's still warm. I just got it out of the thing, but they are cured. I did have to prop these edges up with a, a little pop stick because they were kind of leaning to the thing, to the left or to the right, whatever side it was on. So I'm just going to set these aside for right now. And I know I said I was going to use Mod Podge to adhere them. But I think what I'm going to do is use my tacky glue. Which is, let me go get it. This is the tack it over and over. And I typically use this on my tumblers. And I use this to burnish down the holographic glitter on them. But I... Because this stays tacky when it's dry, I thought that would adhere a lot better to the Mod Podge. So I'm just going to get some of this on each one of them. Let it dry until it's tacky but dry, and then we'll put them on the coaster. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I just thought I'd show you I was working on these while I was waiting for it. These were extra resin from another um, project the other day. And I just thought they were so adorable. I had clear, so I added green glitter, which is green all the way through and through. And I just took some acrylic paint and I painted the little flower pots. So I'm just getting ready to put some little magnets on the back of these. But I thought you would like to see those. Okay, they are tacky and dry, so I'm just going to fit these over and press them down the best I could. Oh, goodness. Make sure you get it in right the first time. I'm not sure how this is going to come out because it is tacky. Okay, good. It's going to come out. But it did curl it, so like I said, get it in. I cut these really close to being perfect. And now I'm not going to get it in perfect, of course. Guys, I just thought of an idea because I'm looking at that edge with the copper. I think I'm going to throw a little twist in here. I am going to pour up a minuscule amount of copper. Drizzle it around this edge. Fill it with white, kind of like I puddle pour a geode coaster. And let the copper kind of come in. 
but barely like I'm talking barely any copper around the edge because I, of course I want to see this paper. So I think I'm going to try that. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. We're going to find out. You're going to see them either way. So let me get some resin mixed up. I mixed up eight more ounces of resin, even though I think I only need seven. <clears throat> but since I'm going to be mixing copper up again, I did mix the extra ounce thought about doing glitter around the edges, but the reason I decided not to do the glitter is because I think the glitter is going to travel too much and I don't want it just all over the place. I wanted to see that starburst uh, striation effect going from the edges to the center. I think that would look pretty cool in these. So that's why I'm choosing the mica powder again. So I'm just going to dump a little bit in here. And the other thing I decided not to do is I'm not going to put them in the curing machine because one, it's 1030 at night right now and there's no need to rush it and I'm not going to babysit it this late. And two, my countertop, I don't need that much mica. My countertop is much more level than fitting four coasters inside that machine without propping them up with sticks so I just I'm just gonna let them cure overnight and we will demold them in the morning oh I hate these cups I do it every time I'm sorry guys <laughs> I don't know why I do this these are just supposed to be for pouring not for mixing and I'm not gonna use all of this I am going to use the slightest bit around here. So I'm nervous because I don't want to mess this up. Just want a tiny thin line. That's it. No more than that. That's even too much. So I might try to wipe some of that out, but I do want it around the edge. That is, yeah, that's more than I want. So I'm going to try to wipe some of this out. Somehow, let me think how I'm going to do this. Let's try this first. I know from doing so many geode coasters that this color just travels pretty far. Probably shouldn't even be doing this, but... I want to try it. wiping a lot of this out as it is going to travel. Okay, let me see if I could squish this around then. Try this one real quick before I do all four of them. Oh, that is definitely domed, domed pretty high, probably too high. Take my little torch. Any little. This torch does harm to these molds. I will be shocked. I saw a piece of glitter in there. I don't know where it came from. I'm just 
just going to sit and watch this for a minute or so. So I overfilled the mold, so I played rescue. <laughs> and I took the extra out. And what I did, I'm still deciding if I like it or not. I just dipped the stick in here and touched it along the edge of the clear. And then I took it and I'm just kind of manipulating it to feather around the edge like that. I'm just going to kind of see if I like that or not for a minute before I continue on with the other three. Otherwise, I might empty this one and just pour clear over it. So I'm not quite sure yet. What do you guys think? Am I ruining it? Can you see it? Can't touch my camera to zoom in because my hands have resin all over them. Let me wash them and I'm not sure if I like that idea. I don't want to waste four perfectly fine coasters. So let's see if you could see it. See how it's feathering from the edges. I don't know. I can't make up my mind. I do see a piece of glitter though. I want out. Um, I don't know. I'm going to fill up the other four and decide what I want to do as I'm touching my screen with resin fingers. Make sure your eye level when you're pouring it so you don't overfill like I did. As you can see, I emptied this one. I had plenty of extra resin, which I still have extra resin. Um, I emptied it and I just put clear in it. I think what I'll do is I'll just edge the edge with a gold or a silver. I wish I had a copper one. I don't know if I have a copper pen. Anyway, I'm going to let these cure overnight. I'll do something with that extra resin and we will demold in the morning. Just because these are disposable doesn't mean you have to throw them away. I just clean this in like a minute. If you want to see how I clean my cups really quickly, just go in the link in the description and there's a minute and a half video for you guys. Okay guys, everything is cured. They've been overnight plus extra. And I wanted to show you the extras that I took out. These were on the holographic mold. What do you think about that? Aren't they gorgeous? Now, a lot of people say that their uh, bookmarks stay bendy and mine do as well because they are so thin. As you can see, they bend. However, I flip them over when I have extra clear resin. I put a really thin, clear, like flood coat of resin on the backs of them, and it stiffens them up perfectly every single time, and I don't have any problems. So these are just going to sit around till I have extra resin to fix them, and then you can use them. And I know some people don't like them because they are thicker, but I've never had a complaint, um, and people take them all the time. So those were that part of it. I also mixed up one of my little cactus plants with that pretty glitter in there. So I will paint the pot with some acrylic paint. So that's that one. And then <clears throat> what I did with these, this was the same, same resin with this glitter in it. Then I dripped while it was still tacky. I dripped some alcohol inks on the back to see how they would look with the alcohol ink on the back. So this one was a blue green color or an aqua color, maybe turquoise. So 
it just gives it a turquoise hue through it. So I thought that would be pretty for a magnet. And then this one was a pinkish color. Cute. Whoops. Thank God that's dry. So see what a little backing can do to change. And this one was purple. So you could change the whole look of a piece just by putting a background on it. So there's the purple. So these will be freebies for any of you that order demos from me. I also give them to bakery customers as well. All right, so there's really no big reveal here. There's the front. Look at how sparkly that is. So pretty. I don't know that I want to edge these. I think they're I think they're okay without an edge. What do you think? If you do want them for demos and you want the edge of gold or silver put on, just let me know. It'll only take a minute. I'll be happy to do it for you. If you do want any demos, the uh, email is on the screen. But I think paper can be a game changer. Barely anything to trim on this one. These two, however, I do have to trim because I did over pour them. See right there? I over poured it and now it's stuck up underneath. And I look, I'm going to ruin my mold. I might have did that with my little tiny torch that I didn't want to use. Great. I am going to, how do I do this? I'm going to trim it first and I'll worry about the mold later. I just have to get it off the mold there. So just take your craft knife or your deburring tool and I'll get that cleaned up a little bit better. But I think they look pretty awesome. Mica powder on the back. And hopefully this one is not fused to my mold. Nope. I just have two little parts on this one. That's it, guys. That's how easy it is. I have so many different papers to use. You can use napkins. I'm going to have to try the napkin thing, though, because it's not quite as thick of a paper. So I don't know how the Mod, Mod Podge will work on a napkin yet. So we will definitely try that out to see what the best way to do a napkin is. Other than that, you guys, thanks for joining me. If you have not done so yet, please subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you. And Remember, go in that description box. I put a lot of work in there for you, and I hope you enjoy everything that's in there. Thanks a lot. You take care, and you have a blessed day. See you tomorrow. Bye.